Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 16th of 2022. Well, it is titled Strawberry Supermoon from China. So what do we see here? Well, this is the full moon known as the strawberry moon for the time of year in which it occurs. And this is actually the full moon that occurred uh, just a couple of days ago, in fact, on June 14th. And that was the one one of one of what we call the super moons. Now, what do we mean when we say something is a super moon? Well, the moon is always the same, but its orbit is elliptical. And that means sometimes it's closer to Earth and sometimes it's a little bit further away. And the difference means that when something is closer, it appears slightly larger in the sky. When it is further away, it appears slightly smaller. So when the supermoon occurs, when the moon uh, is full and near its closest approach to Earth, and that makes it appear a little bit larger in the sky. Now, are you going to notice this difference? Really not by looking at it. If you compare the moon, directly from images, for example, uh, taken at the same at different times taken when we were at supermoon and at the furthest away when the moon would appear the smallest, you could see that there would be a distinct difference between the two. However, just going out and looking at the moon, this difference is small enough that you would just not notice it just looking at the moon. But over the next couple of full moons, over the next couple of months, including in July and August, we will have supermoon, as we will have the moon a little bit brighter and a little bit closer, so appearing a little bit larger in the sky. Now the image we're looking at here is actually two pictures taken together. One, a shorter exposure to show detail on the moon. And we can see the lighter and darker areas on the surface of the moon, the lighter colored highlands and the darker colored Maria. But a second image was taken and then combined with this to show the corona around the moon, the area around the moon, which would otherwise be washed out by the moon's brightness. So put, putting those two together allows us to get an image that you could not actually see uh, directly because of the overall brightness of the moon. If you're looking for the corona, then you would be overexposing the rest of the surface of the moon. If you look for the features on the lunar surface, then you would not be able to see the corona. You would not be able to see the corona. It would be far too faint. So look forward to a couple more supermoons coming up over the next couple of months. So that was our picture of the day for June 16th of 2022. It was titled Strawberry Supermoon from China. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be planets in space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.